all the prosthetics to do things exactly the same. I don't think it even came into the, the conversation at all that all amputees are different, all people are different. I mean, how many times do you hear it? It's like everyone's different. Yeah. But then you get something that's the same. So you're taking away your individuality. It's working, it's trying to get, get away from the engineering mindset and into the human mindset. You're putting that line there and saying, don't cross it. But unfortunately, the line's gone. I have basically taken a copy of your fingers and I cast them in resin. And so it meant I had a you know, reasonable copy. I'm sure it's not quite as strong as the original, but it allowed me to, to prototype and play around. And what I realized is that I could put Subaru, which is this silicon putty stuff, and I could put it onto the fingertips. And then I guess the bit where it got interesting is I started to pick out tools yeah. that I thought you're gonna want some grip. So I started rolling these into it. And this is a bit of mesh, just to give you a more tactile feel. And that then took us to, I guess something I picked up from you is almost the thing of like, well, you're not someone who's always been very shy. You said you don't want the, the pink over yeah, skin. Exactly. And so obviously I'm choosing red as the extreme end. But of course you could go more subtle than that. You could create different variations, different grips. These are so cool. You could play around with whether these have exactly. different effects. And again, it gives you back your individuality because mm. you can do it yourself. I mean, I th your, your thumb is much better than mine. I mean, I did mine, I did mine for a reason and it, to make it functional. Yep. Ah. Um, and it works, it works really well. But this idea, the fact that you can customize your own. Yeah. Well, that's no different to a lady putting no varnish on. Well, exactly. So the thing that's interesting about this is that it looks like it's all about the aesthetics, but actually there's a bit of function in here. Yeah. That the red, if you feel that, it's quite firm, but the pink is softer. So it's, it's had something mixed into it that allows it to be air that's slightly softer. And that gives you the, the, the gift yeah. that your skin has, your, your finger pads. Exactly. So that was, that was something I was playing around with, is whether you can get softer fingertips. And so that's been something that I thought was, was definitely, you know, this, this just comes out of the factory, uh, yeah. a particular hardness. Hardness, yeah, which is what I've got. I've just got it as it is. And you can, you can adapt that. This is uh, basically changing color with the heat of my hands. So you can see that's going to yellow. And also this plastic itself, the resin, I put some of the color changing paint, pigments into it. And I guess what I thought is that obviously you, you have a hand that can sense temperature, but I kind of thought, what about when you didn't want to use that hand because it was maybe dangerous or painful? Um, and you know, maybe it could detect extreme cold, extreme mm. heat, or indeed, maybe if this was made out of something which melted at, I don't know, 120, this would change color at 100 to warn you, yeah, easy yeah. now. Ideally, then that way, you, yeah, you're not going to put your hand into the barbecue. I, you don't have a sense of touching these. You have no feeling. Mm -hmm. So unless you can see what you're holding, it's in like the it's dark. Like, yeah. So yeah. tying your shoelaces up in the dark, just a simple thing. To tie your shoelaces up, it's a nightmare. This would, um, I know people that would, if you could inter, were able, if we were able to interchange, if we had the permissions and we had the skills or whatever to be able to interchange these. Yeah. Well, there's, there's two things. You, you could either have, so for example, I've gone for glow in the dark there, and there's what's called thermochromic, color changing with heat. But then this is mixing the two. So this blue detects extreme cold, but then this also glows in the dark as well, the pads. So for me, I'm, I'm, I design this in ignorance of you and what you want to get out of, but it almost feels like so many things in life, if you could select these, and say, well, you've bought 90% of your arm, or the NHS has, but you would like those variants. The glow in the dark, finger and thumb yeah. tips, you can tie your units in the dark. Yeah, who knows, maybe, maybe it needs a light on. Who knows, but I mean, yeah. at least it enhances or improves your quality of life. Because if you can see what you're doing in the dark, that means you can, you can just carry on with your life. You can feel what you're doing in the dark. I can't, yeah. I can see what I was doing in the dark. Okay, it sounds such a small thing. Mm -hmm. But you're but out on you, a night and you if you just, can't do it yeah. it's a big thing <laughs>